Now you may also have one question. We've talked a lot about the relationship between the structure of the electric circuit and other causes and its characteristics. Will PEC be a very boring theory cause? Let's tell you, it's absolutely not. Look at the new iPhone 5S released by Apple in 2013. What's the relationship between iPhone 5S, the most cutting-edge consumer electronic product with PEC? Let's see. After finishing the PEC course, you may continue to learn some other courses in two aspects. In one aspect, you will learn signals and systems. After finishing it, you can learn communication fundamentals. After finishing it, there is an associated course called wireless communication. This is the aspect of signal processing. Beside this, there is an aspect of computer. After learning the electric circuits, you will learn digital electronics and then computer infrastructure, which is a basic for a PDA. The combination of computer and wireless communication is the iPhone. In other words, after learning these courses, you can know how an iPhone works fundamentally. Of course, I need to point out here, there is still an extremely long distance of practical work to design iPhone. Besides this, let's look at the picture at the lower, reach corner, lower right corner. It's a framework structure of smart grid. The key is the energy and the signal can both have bi-directional flow direction between consumers and the distribution networks. Our former power system don't have this characteristic. The bi-directional flow of energy and signal between consumers and distribution networks enable us to provide more efficient, stable, and safer electric energy to the consumer. What's the relationship between such a complicated system and our circuits? Similarly, we also have two ways to choose. After learning circuits, we can learn power electronics, then learn energy storage technology, and then learn renewable energy technology. On the other way, you need to learn power system analysis and advanced energy management. After learning these two parts, you will get the core element of the smart grid. So you see, the electric circuit course is closely associated with your practical application of energy and signal processing in the future. Okay, this is the end of the lecture one.